scared of turbulence? Here's what experts say. Not everyone is excited when boarding a plane. Many actually have the fear of flying. One reason is turbulence, the rocky experience in flight. Experts provide insight into what it is for the uninitiated and what they can do to calm down. First, what is turbulence? According to AARP, turbulence happens as a result of irregular airflow, which can occur for many reasons, such as jet streams and weather fronts. During turbulence, bombs and jolts happen and those with a fear of flying will definitely find the experience horrific. There's a chance they'll avoid flying again because of just a single meet and greet with bombs and jolts. But here's what experts have to say about it. Turbulence can be a little uncomfortable, and it can sometimes be a little unexpected, but rarely is it dangerous, explained pilot and aviation consultant Barry Shift. Pilots have many tools and techniques to get around bad weather. Besides, flights will be canceled when there's a severe weather disturbance. But won't turbulence throw the plane around? Turbulence isn't the culprit behind it. You may think it does because you're being harshly moved inside a plane. Yet the plane's altitude hardly changes. Although very unlikely, injuries due to turbulence can happen, so don't forget about your seatbelt. AARP noted that the chances of dying from a lightning strike, food poisoning, or shark attack are greater than dying from a plane crash. But let's get away from the doom and gloom of flying. How can the fearful keep their nerve during a flight? Psychologist David Carbonell advises his clients to take note of their symptoms and monitor their status during flight. The goal is to figure out where the problem lies, response to the fear or the fear itself. Your responses to fear are something you can control compared to fear itself, which is not an easy adversary. Carbonell suggested two ways for a real panic attack, breathing and distraction. In breathing techniques, start with a sigh, followed by breathing deeply to relax your body. Distraction techniques like recalling positive memories or writing something with your non-dominant hand are helpful too. However, distractions are ineffective once the panic sets in. Commercial airplane pilot Captain Laura Ensettler suggests a few things to lower your encounter with turbulence. Take the earliest morning flights for a smoother experience, fly the largest plane for fewer bombs, and plan trips during fall or spring when weather conditions are mostly consistent. Don't forget to check out the Weather Channel or specialized mobile apps. It's better to be informed than to be clueless. Do you fear turbulence? What is your worst flying experience to date? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Till our next video, thanks for watching.